What is up guys, it's Raul TV back again, your favourite YouTube mechanic and uh, what we're going to do this time around is we're going to do the rear brake pads on a 2011-2012 kind of thing, uh, Toyota Avensis. We're going to do the rear brake pads. Uh, reason being I'm going to do this video because it's got electronic handbrake, I'm going to show you how to reset it, put it in fitting position and then replace the rear brake pads. So without further ado, let's do this. Come on guys, let's go, let's go. Okay, before I do anything on the electrical side, let's do the mechanical side first. Basically, take the bolts off, uh, which have been already taken off, which is here. 13 milli, two little bolts, take them off. And now, as you can see, it's all, well, the handbrake's still on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop the car down and uh, put the diagnostic machine on it, the laptop on it, and reset it so it's ready for fitting. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is turn the ignition on, um, press the brake and release the handbrake, Oops, sorry, the other way, release the handbrake, handbrake is released now, uh, what, what I'm going to do now is I plug the machine on, the laptop on and I'm going to put it in fitting position. If you haven't got the brake pads in the stock, I suggest you wait till you until the brake pads arrive uh, that way you don't want to be leaving it in uh, replacement mode for a long time uh, if you're going to leave it in replacement mode for a long time get the battery charger on it that way the battery's not going to go flat and uh, everything should be okay so anyway let's let's do this guys let's go right the software that i'm going to use to reset to put it put it in fitting position is the wow software the world of worth uh, that's what i'm going to use what we're going to do is obviously let it load up We're going to go on to manufacturers, go scroll all the way down to Toyota, basically find the car that you're doing, let's see if I can find it, Toyota, petrol, 2011 this one. And it's uh, Avensis. It's a two litre, this one. Boom, go to that. All right, we're gonna go to. If I can show you guys, diagnosis. All the way down to functions. Activation. So we come onto this page, it will say full uh, release mode activation. So we'll click onto that. So it should say full release. So it should release the handbrake. It should make a noise around the back. Let's continue again. Okay. As you can see now, we'll put it in uh, full release mode activation. Uh, it's going to start flashing. The handbrake's going to be uh, flashing. The warning light's going to be flashing. So what we do now is we replace the brake pads. Okay guys, uh, I've put the car in full release mode obviously with the laptop and I've got the uh, wind back tool on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wind the uh, piston in all the way so it goes flush. Then put the pads on, make sure the pads are nice and free and then wind the piston back out so it's uh, basically just touching the brake pad. Uh, you don't have to be 100% accurate, just touching because it's an electronic handbrake, it'll, it, it, for that little gap it will compensate anyway uh, when you when you press the electronic handbrake on. And uh, yeah, that's what, what we're going to do now. Hey guys, I've got the brake pads on. Uh, one little top tip and one cardinal sin what everybody does. Uh, well, not everybody, uh, these guys who don't know what they're doing basically. Uh, they'll put the brake pad on, even if it's tight, they'll hammer it on and then happy days, you know, they think that's it. No, 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 we don't do that. Make sure the brake pad 
it's nice and free we don't want it too loose so it's rattling around no movement up and down but as you can see nice and free make sure it's nice and free the last thing you want is the ham uh, the brakes stuck on mess, mess your disc up you won't get proper braking effect and yeah so don't go hammering the brake on make sure you you know like I said nice and free right guys I'm just uh, finishing off on this side make sure you uh, go clockwise to tighten it up That's it, that's this side done. On to the other side, let's do the other side. Okay guys, the left hand side rear brake caliper is a left hand thread, right? So it's the opposite thread compared to the, uh, the right hand side rear caliper. So basically, if you're in the UK, it's the passenger side rear, uh, that's uh, left hand thread. If you're in the US, it's the driver side rear, that is, uh, you know, left hand thread. So and plus in a Asia, if you're in Asia, Japan, and everything, it's the left hand, uh, you know, it's the uh, passenger side rear as well because they drive on the other side of the road, right? So um, yeah, so make sure put it this way: the left hand side rear caliper is a left hand thread, left for left, yeah, left hand thread, yeah. So just bear that in mind. Let's finish this side off. That's tight. That's tight. What we do now is we're gonna go in the car, back in the car, send the car down, back in the car, on the laptop, reset it again, put it back into normal mode, uh, deactivate it. Well, it's deactivated now. I'm gonna reactivate it, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm on this section again. As far as we are concerned, we need to full release mode deactivated so it's in uh, it's in full release mode now so we have to deactivate that uh, basically it, it's on this mode here it says full release mode activation so I press that one yeah but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on full release mode deactivation so click that start there you go there's a little click it made underneath the uh, car all it is when you hear that click that's it that means it's uh, it's on uh, you know deactivation mode what you could go ahead and do now is try the handbrake see if the handbrake works it should work there's no reason why it shouldn't work and uh, go from there put the wheels on happy days let's go driving what we do now is guys we turn the car ignition back off turn it back on again so it's reset everything let's try the handbrake is the handbrake on or off now Phil? Off. That's off, one minute. So, that's on, check the other side for us. So, how's that? That's off. that's off, happy days, all done, dusted. So that's how we replace the rear brake pads on a, a 2012 Toyota Avensis. Um, I hope this uh, video helps you guys out. Obviously, I couldn't show you everything in detail because, uh, I mean, I can't get the camera in there and everything. So anyway, uh, like, share and subscribe to my channel, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the bell button for me. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you guys. I'll try to answer your questions. And I will see you guys soon.